Just a quick reminder guys, these narrations are best enjoyed with headphones on. Hey there everyone, Mouse says Pro all the way from Kid Robot Mine here. And welcome back to Tales of the Tape. As Ian tags in and out with his partner, a classic wrestling game for the PS2. Can this game put the final nail on Greg's coffin? Or will he reverse this attack? Let's find out. During the 90s, two wrestling mega corporations were grappling with each other for marketed dominance. On one side, we had World Championship Wrestling, or WCW, and the World Wrestling Federation, or WWF. But now, it is known as World Wrestling Entertainment, or WWE. This golden era of professional wrestling was known as the Monday Night Wars. However, in the last two years of the 90s, were not too kind to WCW, as the company loses their grip on the market. Giants, seriously. WCW Monday Night Raw announcer were told to intentionally spoil WWF flagship Monday Night Show Raw's main event. Because of this, thousands of viewers changed the channel to watch Mankind win the WWF Championship. Sadly, in the year 2000, WCW was up for sale due to the merger between America Online (AOL) for TV Me and the Time Warner Group. Most of these buyout offers were rejected. However, in 2001, WCW officially tapped out as Vince McMahon, the directors of WWF, officially bought out the majority of assets that WCW owned. And at that point, WWF became the dominant wrestling organization in the world. And in the world of gaming, Sony's behemoth song console, the PlayStation 2, was dominating the market. Killing off Japanese hardware developer Sega in the process. Sucks, I know, but it happened. THQ wanted to cash in on the massive popularity of WWE by releasing this title. In this title, you pick a wrestler from a roster of superstars at the time, including Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, and Brock Lesnar, as you fight on in pursuit of title glory. The acceptability scores are as follows. Look at the ball rolling, visibility gave us 7. First off with the negatives. Each superstar only has one outfit. However, you can use player indicators to see who's controlling what character. So apart from the shortfalls, a player with a visual impairment should be able to play this game with no issues. But alternate outfits could make this game a fair bit more accessible. Next up on the battle plan, audibility we give it 10. During the season mode, all dialogue is text based, so a player with a hearing impairment should be able to understand what's being said during the game. In fact, there is no spoken dialogue in this game, so this game can be very easily played by a player with a hearing impairment. Next up, mobility gets squatted an abysmally low 6. Th this is where the biggest issue in terms of accessibility lies. There is no way to customize the controls, however, if you have played a wrestling game before, this game should be somewhat familiar to you. However, the lack of customizable controls will make this game unplayable for a player with, with a mobility impairment, as controls can be tailored to suit the player's impairments. So, a player with a mobility impairment might want to give this game a miss. Last but not least, gameplay gave it 10. This game is a lot of replayability. Similar to most wrestling games, the game exhibition mode is where the one majority of the game's lifespan is. The amount of match times that you can play is quite a lot for even for a PS2 game. You still have your bog standard single, tag, hardcore slash no holds barred modes, but there are a lot of run of match types, for example, the three stages of hell match. The roster of characters you can choose from is big. You can select for big names at the time of release, such as Scott Steiner, Chris Benoit, and Legends to like Roddy Piper, with their authentic WWE entrance theme at time of the game's release. In summary, WWE SmackDown Here Comes the Pain is a fairly decent wrestling game for the PS2. Although all wrestling games can get monotonous after a few matches, this game stands out from the crowd of a highly congested subgenre. And the overall score is 82.5%.
and Ian's tag team score, and that's the team score that Greg needs to beat, is 86.88%. See you guys in the next review. Miles Tails Power all the way from Kid Robot Miami out. Roll out, Spartan Legion.